If you're any type of creator, then this thing is your jam. I absolutely love it. I've only had it for a couple of weeks and already I use it all the time. <laughs> So tonight we're talking about the Tour Box by Tour Box Tech. Funny that. This thing is like the fidget cube of creator tech. It's got buttons all over it and it does whatever you want it to do. This particular model is the Tour Box Elite, which means that it is Bluetooth. And so there were um, other models of this, like the Tour Box Neo. This is the Elite, comes in three wonderful colors. I happen to get what I call Stormtrooper White. And if you are into Photoshop, if you're into photo editing, say Lightroom, if you're into video editing, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, et cetera, et cetera, or if you're into just like creating workflows using multiple buttons without having to do a lot of this on the keyboard, even with hotkeys, then this thing is absolutely fantastic. You can run it with a cable or as, you know, what I'd love is being wireless. So um, it can run um, obviously just with Bluetooth. Um, you've got a few batteries in there and you've got your power switch on the back here. Once you power it on, it also has these nice soft uh, rubber kind of feet here so that once it's on your desk it doesn't move and it's actually uh, quite weighty quite heavy I it still wouldn't stop me from traveling with it just because I'm so fond of it but yeah it's it's definitely a chunky well-made thing the boxing the whole uh, you know manufacturing uh, quality of this is uh, definitely first rate there's a nice little kind of welcome card there with you know uh, arigatou gozaimasu for buying it. Um, there's some basic instructions around safety and then that's really it in the box because the tour box is the thing. But it is a, you know, it's a lovely, lovely finish um, on, the, uh, on the box. You can see the HD photos on the full review on the website, which I'll link to below. Uh, and there is the quick start guide, which is a weighty term, but again, because it's all multilingual, it's not really that scary. Now, did I read the manual on this? No because there were so many buttons, I thought this would be quite an adventure to get to know. So what I did is I uh, downloaded the software on my MacBook and powered it up, and then just went through and started figuring out how to program um, all of the keys. I don't know how to like really explain how versatile this thing is. So while they sell it as a product for creators, it's like, it's so programmable, you can flip and use it for doing Excel or just browsing the internet. So, you know, I do a lot of like stuff all day long in terms of like internet marketing and just like jumping in and out of interfaces, um, doing tabbing and popping around. You know, this thing can pretty much do anything you need it to. And if there's not enough buttons, then you can program some long press buttons to do other things on top of that. So we'll have a look at the software. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that these, these dials here, they actually have haptic feedback built in. That is optional. You don't have to have that. So this can be a turn wheel and it's a push button. This is a turn dial and a push button. This is a scroll wheel and my browser's going up and down over here and a push button. You've got a four way left, right, up, down if you want it, or these can be press and hold for other things, um, or you can program them to not be uh, up, down, left, and right. You can program them to be whatever you want. You've got a couple of trigger buttons, side button down the side here, um, and these two buttons here. It comes already with some pre-configured things for Photoshop and Lightroom, and I think Adobe Premiere. So you don't have to program all the buttons from scratch. You can just learn what they have given to you as a good idea. I understand from the team at Tourbox Tech that most people use this with their right hand. Okay, so I'm left-handed. Most of you are probably right-handed, statistically speaking, which means that you use your mouse in your right hand and your left hand you would use this for. Or in the case of, say, this is a perfect, this here, this is the perfect, I mean, the Logitech Ergo mouse in combination with that, you know, you, you can pretty much learn to do everything without your keyboard. My ultimate pairing for this is my SenseLad tablet, which is also wireless um, and can be wired. 
uh, you can check out the review on the Sense Lab stuff on the website. I'll link to that as well. So because I'm left-handed, I have my Wacom on the left, and then I actually use the tour box on the right. And, and while the team said, well, that's a bit odd, it's not at all, actually. It's just, it's very natural for me to, to use it that way. So if you're left-handed or you're right-handed, you can figure out how to optimize this to do what you need it to do. I've done a, a few basic things with these, like the little buttons there is like um, copy and paste, you know, nice and easy. Now you do that all day long. So you can just kind of have your hand over here and you just go copy paste. You don't, you know, yeah, you can do Apple C and Apple X and Apple V and all that, but, but I actually find it, it's so nice having a tactile button with one hand, you can just go click, click. And so with my hand on the Wacom moving around the screen, I'd go click, paste, copy, paste. Working in Excel, doing lots of cutting and pasting, Shazam. Anyway, let's have a look at the software. So on the um, on the top left here, it's quite straightforward. You've got presets that already come with the tour box. So you've got Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Edit, Premiere Color. You can also have auto switching, which means that as you change the application, the tour box will switch to the keys that are pre-programmed for that app. And you can, of course, add additional presets in there and you can name them whatever you like. So as you click through, you can see that on the right here, we've got all of the key combinations. So here's the knob. And then in the middle here, you've got the option to click and, and change what it does. So at the moment in Lightroom, this knob will adjust the selected slider that you've gone over. Now, to select the sliders, you can go up and down and left and right with the keys. You could still use your mouse to kind of like hover over the slider. And then as you spin the knob, it'll wind, you know, like vibrance, color, correction, exposure, etc., etc. Because these all have clicks as well, um, you could have it so that you, you know, then you click it and it does something else. Now the cool thing is you can then do um, double clicks on these. So if you hit that twice, you can program that to do something else. Um, and then you can do combo keys. So then you could say, well, if I hold down this button and this button or click this button and this button, then do something else. So, so many buttons get multiplied into so many more buttons. I am excited because I love getting away from just keyboards and mice like with this, I don't even need to look. So I'm gonna come down to Lightroom uh, custom down the bottom here and choose something that I haven't programmed. So I haven't uh, programmed that button, which is the tall button. So I'm gonna click on that so I can show you what options you have. So when you click on it up here, you've got, okay, so if I hit Command Z or something like that, say Alt Z, Shift C, something like that, that button will now be programmed that when I hit that long button, the same effect will be Shift C. So it could be, you know, Apple X for the cut, Apple, you know, um, V, Apple C, or any other, you know, key combination that you want to do, and it will just record it. But if you want to hit a button and open up a particular function for an app that's supported, and you can download additional app libraries from their library, but the ones that you've got built in here are Photoshop Lightroom Premiere. You've also got system tasks. So you could say, you know, when I scroll up and down on this um, scroll wheel here, you know, volume up and down, or if I hit, uh, you know, this button on the right, fast forward, or this button to rewind. So you can program all of those. You've got mouse, um, options as well so you could just say you know if i hit uh you know this button here or this button here that's my left click or that's my right click so you can even mimic um, a lot of what your mouse commands do and also you know when you do you know command mouse click so you're you're combining that keyboard and mouse into just one button in um, lightroom photoshop it comes with all of the the pre-existing things so you could say that you know when i click you know this this big top button um, open up a tool. So it could be, uh, you know, something, you know, the magic wand, everybody's favorite tool. So just when I click that and I'm in Photoshop, open up the, open up the, um, the magic wand. It just takes a little bit of time to get into it and get used to it. But if you just take that time and, and kind of train yourself on it, before you know it, your workflow will probably increase you know, dramatically, which I really love. So that's it. So I've created this custom Lightroom. Um, and as you go down each one, the little map on the right there, as you can, the little map on the left there, you can see that it highlights what button we're talking about. So, okay, so that's the tall button, that's the short button, um, you know, double, double click in these. Now at the bottom here, we've got the haptic touch uh, enabled. So that is when, you know, that clickety click, click um, on the um, two dial wheels, 
gives you that feedback to, so that you know what's happening. You can actually turn that off if you don't like it, which is fine. And in the settings here, you know, we've got la language settings. Do you want this to, to run when you reboot your computer? And this is the final thing I think that I'll show you in the software, which is the HUD. Now, even if I close the software, um, this HUD is still going to be there. So I won't close it in case I think of something else to show you. But that HUD just stays over the top to give you an idea of what you're clicking. So if I click down, you can see that that action that there and there's you know lots of other things you can do with the HUD and in the setup it will walk you through that as well this setup's pretty cool so let me give you a quick demo of how I'm using it in Lightroom so let's just say I click on that I'll try and do this backwards so for my Lightroom I have just programmed it to that up down left and right buttons do exactly that I can walk around my photos and have a look at um, them just in the left right now if I click on this this wheel here um, then it will open up the photo that I'm looking at and then if I also want to just keep going through You know the photos that I've taken I can keep using those left and right clickety click click directional pad here now if I You know want to um, I can open up these and then if I hover over one of them and, and I use the wheel Then obviously you can see I can increase it and decrease it at the same time now I'm not using for that for that at the moment. That's going to be my advanced um, lesson later so I'm just going to hide that. Now, this is just for quick going through my photos. Now, if I want to keep it, I've programmed the top button here uh, to be a keeper. So if I hit that, you'll see that the pick option came up. And if I'm like, I don't like this photo, I can hit this button and it rejects it. So I just go, you know, pick it, don't like it, left, right, left, right kind of thing. Oh yeah, I like that one. No, I don't like that one. And then if I want to escape out, I just hit this like side one here. So it just takes me back to, to that view. So that's escape. Um, and then I've kind of got a cut and paste programmed into here. So without even looking, you know, with all the photos that I have, I can go through them. I can go, okay, I want to look at that one. Oh yeah, actually I do like that one. Um, no, that's blurry. No, that's blurry. You know, uh, yes, I like that one. Actually, no, I don't. Um, let's go back and have a look around. So you can go very, very fast. I'm sure that you've all got your keyboard hotkeys, but I do find that this, once you practice with it for a while, you can get really, really fast. So the tool itself is quite simple. Lots of buttons that can be configured in lots of different ways, however you like. You can add additional software, works on Mac, works on Windows, is Bluetooth 5. I think there's up to 100 configurable options uh, there that you can use. You can use it for Photoshop, for Premiere, for DaVinci, for any other creative tool, as well as just general like navigation uh, around the thing. Fire any questions below. I hope it's been helpful. Like and subscribe uh, if it has. That's it, the tour box, total thumbs up. Five out of five, the thing that I've been looking for for a long time, partly because I also uh, and trying to reduce the amount of um, you know wrist strain from you know too much working on computers and this kind of does that as well as because it's so tactile I don't even have to look at it you know after a while you get quite good at just using it and because of the haptic feedback and all that so total winner have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching bye for now